they were making a really quick video on how to make scones um, I've been making scones for a while now and I think this is a really good recipe so let's start right away we have 220 grams of all-purpose flour we have 25 grams of sugar three teaspoons of baking powder and a pinch of salt which uh, is about half a teaspoon of salt so put all these ingredients the dried ingredients together in a bowl I like to keep everything pretty cold which helps a lot with this recipe just like that okay and then whisk it all together whisk it all together at this point take the butter butter <laughs> which is cold and chopped into pieces this recipe makes about six scones um, I don't like to make too many because in the house there's only two of us and uh, I don't like to be rushed into eating them all um, so this is what we're doing just six scones so make sure to crumble all the butter in with the dry ingredients until it's nice and finely crumbed, crumbly you can also use a food uh, processor to do this which is probably a lot faster but it's nice to dirty your hands sometimes this takes a, a little while so don't be impatient remember keep the butter in the fridge until it's time to add it to the wet to the dry ingredients so make sure that it's crumbly just like this Wow, I love your quadro. Then make a well in the dry ingredients and at this point we'll take our milk and one egg <laughs> and one egg break the egg into the milk you can also add half milk half cream if you like it if you like it better and then whisk the milk and the egg together and at this point you will add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients take a fork I like to use a fork to start this to start forming the dough and slowly add it all together Just keep mixing it's going to be a wet dough and a little bit sticky but not too sticky so mix it all together until it's almost formed and then kind of like this so mix the dough all together until it gets to this point okay then grab some flour and flour lightly a surface then put your dough onto the floured surface meanwhile you can preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius Okay, so we're going to take our dough, start forming the dough with your hands. 
make sure that it's not too um, sticky. If it is sticky, then grab some flour and just add some more on top like this. And don't work too much the dough. Don't work the dough too much because you want it to, you want the scones to stay nice and fluffy, but you also don't want the dough to stick to your hands. Okay, at this point, make sure that the dough is about one inch thick. And we're going to start cutting our scones with a cookie cutter. So grab some flour flour your cookie cutter and then start cutting it cut into the dough and then we will go and put our cookies our dough sorry onto a pan with some paper on top When you get to the point where you have this leftover dough, just squish it all together to compact it again. So this is what our scones look like before baking in the oven. So as soon as our oven is uh, ready at 350 degrees, we're going to bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're nice and golden. the scones are ready and we're taking them out so the scones are ready we're going to transfer them from this cookie sheet to our cooling rack them for breakfast or you can have them for a snack usually you, you can have them with a tea in the afternoon you can add butter if you want or you can spread um, like the British do some potted cream and jam on top hope you enjoyed them let me know what you think in the comments below